Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me on another video. Within today's video, we are going to be doing one of everyone's favorites and one of my favorites as well. So if you are interested in seeing how much I was able to earn for the week within my side income and seeing how I'm going to allocate my money, then just keep on watching. All right, so as always, when it comes to my side income, this is all of the extra money on the side doing miscellaneous things that I was able to earn within the week. For this week, I was actually able to have some time to do some DoorDash and Uber deliveries, so that will be included in my budgeting as well. If this happens to be your first time here on the channel, let me take a moment and welcome you. Hello, my name is Monet and I am 24 years old. And here on this channel, I deal with all things finances. I'm really trying to get a handle on my money, so I wanted to learn how to budget, and I'm using the cash envelope system to help with that. And I also wanted to get into eliminating my debt, so I'm using the debt snowball method to get rid of that. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in seeing or learning, then please be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. Join the family, I would love to have you, and make sure you hit the bell so that you never miss a video. But with all that being said, everyone, let's get started with budgeting out my paycheck. All right, so we are back in my lovely notebook and we're just gonna go ahead and open this up and get to my sheet. If this is your first time here, I like to hand write my budget when it comes to my side income and I fill it all out within this notebook. It's very simple and easy for me and I enjoy doing it. So that is why I do this process. Okay, so this is the breakdown that we're dealing with and up at the top is the date. So here we see that I was able to earn this money within the week of September 20th and then here are my three streams of income. So I have my Etsy, I have DoorDash, and I have Uber. So as always, when it comes to the Etsy number that I write here, this is after I put money back into the business and after I put my taxes aside. So I didn't have that many orders within this week. So for Etsy, my take home pay for the week was $72. And then that left me available to try and do DoorDash and Uber again, just to go out there and see if it's busy. You know, now that the seasons are changing and it's getting a little bit colder, I may have been able to get a little bit more orders. And I must say, in terms of the busyness, it wasn't my busiest time that I ever had when I went out and did deliveries, but it wasn't as slow as it was when I stopped. So it looks like things are starting to pick up a little bit. So I may go out more often and, you know, earn a little bit more extra cash. So with that, for the week within DoorDash, I brought in $202. And for Uber, I brought in $98. So if we go ahead and add up all three incomes for the week, we get a total of $372 that I was able to earn for some side income. So I'm not upset about that, I am very grateful. So now we're gonna get into my taxes. So for taxes, this is just going to be for my DoorDash and my Uber, because as I said, Etsy has already taken out its taxes. So if we do the 202 from DoorDash plus the 98 from Uber, that gives us a total of $300. And I like to always do 30% when it comes to my taxes. So if we do 30% of 300, that will give us $90 that I should be putting towards my taxes. So if we do the 372 minus the 90 for our taxes, that means we officially get a remaining of $282. And I actually just realized something on my paper that I forgot to fill out. It goes under my expenses and it's for my gas so that I can continue to do Uber and DoorDash for another week. So I'm just gonna write it down here under expenses. And now that we have our remaining, we have $282 and I put that across my expenses, my sinking funds, my savings and my debt snowball. So getting started with expenses. So gas, I'm going to give myself $35. So if we do minus 35, we are now left with $247. So now we can go up here to my sinking funds and figure out how we're going to distribute that. So annual pay will be getting $10 minus 10. Car maintenance is going to get $50 minus 50. Christmas will get 20. Gifts will get 
Going is five. Medical is going to get 20. And vacation will also get 20. Minus 20. All right, so now I'm left with $122. And I have now my savings and my debt snowball. So for savings to help me continue to reach my monthly goal, I'm going to put aside $40 minus 40. And then that leaves me with $82. And I will be putting the entire $82 towards my debt snowball. So minus 82. So there we go. That leaves me with a zero based budget. And that is how I like to budget out my money and tell it exactly where to go. So now that we know what we're doing, I can go to the bank and get my cash. And when I come back, we'll get started with stuffing the cash envelopes. All right, everyone. So here we are. I got the cash and I returned from the bank. So we will go ahead and lay out our money. And then once I'm all set up, I'll bring you guys right on back. All right, everyone, so we got the money up at the top. We have our notebook and then we have our binder. So I like to go in order of the notebook. So looking at taxes, that will be our first category. And taxes I keep in the back of my binder. And here we said that taxes is going to get $90. So we will do a 50 and two 20s to give us 90, 50, 70, 90. And if we add that to my taxes so far, let's see what we have. So that gives us 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. So $478 is now within my taxes. And the next thing that I normally do is expenses, which is my gas, but I made a mistake and put that at the bottom. So let's just go ahead and do that quickly. So gas, this is my envelope. And we said that we were putting away $35. I had to add an extra five because gas prices are continuously rising. So now we have 20, 30, 35, and that will be my gas to help me Uber for another week. So we can just put that right in here and there we go. All right, so now we can get started with my sinking funds. So we will bring our binder back out and looking at my sinking funds, the first one that we will be stuffing is for our annual payments. So that should be getting $10. So we can do a $10 bill and once we add $10, that gives us 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. So $130 is now for annual payments. And annual payments is for my yearly subscriptions like Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu. And speaking of Hulu, the prices got raised for the annual payment. I was very upset when I found out about that. So now I have to add another $10 to make up for the fact that they now increased Hulu's annual payment. So if you pay Hulu, know that they increased the prices. So the next sinking fund will be for our car maintenance. That's getting $50. So we will do a $50 bill. And if we add 50 to car maintenance, that gives us 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970. So $970 is now within my car maintenance envelope. Moving on after that, we have Christmas. And Christmas will be getting $20. So... Once we add our 20, that will put our Christmas at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 610. So that is $610 within my Christmas. Okay, moving on after Christmas, we have 
gifts. And gifts will be getting $5. So once we add $5 to gifts, that will put me at 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So $129 is now within my gifts. And I did finally pick out a gift for my best friend's birthday. Her birthday is in the middle of October. So I wanted to order it now so that it will get here in time. I will not share what it is because she watches my videos, but I got the gift for her. So moving on after gifts, we move into medical. Medical is going to get 20. So we will do a $20 bill. And once we add 20 to my medical, that will give me 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 324 dollars is now within my medical envelope. All right, and moving on after medical, we have vacation. Vacation will also be getting 20 dollars. So we will do a 20 dollar bill. And adding a 20 will give my vacation 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 725. So 725 dollars is now within my vacation. Okay, and now we move on to my savings. So here's my savings envelope. And savings is going to be getting $40 today. So we can do two 20s to give us our 40. And once we add 40, let's see where we're at. So as always, we have our $2,000 placeholder, meaning that we have $2,000 in the bank. And then within physical cash, I have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 91, 92. So $492 I have in cash. So that gives me a total of $2,492 within my savings. So again, continuing on that journey to $3,000 by the end of the year. All right, and the last thing that we have is my debt snowball, and debt snowball should be getting $82. So that should be the money that we have left. So here we have 50, 70, 80, 81, 82. So yes, that is correct, $82. And let's add that to my debt snowball. Have a lot of singles okay so now within my death snowball for the month so far we have 100 200 300 400 20 40 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 so that is 463 dollars saved up so far within my debt snowball all right, so with all of that, all of the money is put away and in its place. So that is a great sign to show that we did everything correctly. All right, everyone, so that is how I'm going to wrap up my side income for week three of September. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are fine motivation and enjoying the videos that are being put out. If you did, please be sure to leave it down in the comments below and let me know how you guys are doing so that we can chat and catch up with one another. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share the video with anybody that you think would benefit from it. And if you are enjoying the content and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. But with all that being said, that's all I have for today. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye, guys.